So some of the questions that I get about van life, like I get this one, like, isn't it difficult to live in such a small space? And I kind of look at it like this. First of all, every time I wake up in the van, I'm smiling because I know that I'm on an adventure. And plus it feels like a little posh hotel room in here. And I also think about it like this. You know, two days ago, I was at Surfside Beach in Texas and there were these houses that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, these vacation rentals. And I was parked on the beach and I had the same view that they had for free. I look at it like potentially the whole U.S. is my backyard. My backyard is the forest or the Badlands National Park or Yosemite. My backyard has been rivers and lakes and just the most exquisite scenes. So no, it isn't difficult to live in such a small space. I love my space. I love my van. One of the things that I say about it is it's so cool that I have everything with me everywhere I go. You know, like I keep my gym bag in here. If I pass by a gym and I want to work out, I've got everything in here with me. Hello, welcome to my channel, Becoming Bev. Today, I'm going to take you on a tour of my 2004 Chevy Express 1500 van that's been converted to an RV. It's been a while since I did a full tour of the van. And since I first got the van and did those original tours, it's gone through a lot of changes. So I felt like it was time to do a full van tour incorporating where it's at currently. So come on in and let me show you the van. I thought I'd start at the front of the van and one of the first things that I had done to the van is I had this swivel seat put in and I love that it really opens up the front of the van to like a I call it my living room space. I have an Apicool 55 car refrigerator here that I Velcroed a tray to the top of it. So I can sit here and this acts kind of like a living room. So like a little side table, I can set my drink on or my book or whatever I happen to be doing up here. And the other thing that I love about this is when I'm sitting in the driver's seat or when I'm sitting here, I can access the fridge by opening it and just leaning it on the dashboard and then I can get inside here and get to my food easily. I love having the car fridge here because it keeps me from going to eat fast food. I've got my food right here with me if I get hungry. It's important for everything in the van to have more than one purpose. So this little thing right here is my footstool for when I'm sitting in the chair here, but it's also a guest chair. Someone can sit on here when they're in here visiting. I don't tell them what they're really sitting on. So what they're really sitting on is the cassette toilet. And the way this toilet works is I just pop the lid up like that, take care of business. And when I'm done, I shut the lid, press this, it puts water and a few chemicals in there. And One of the things that I say about van life are there are a few inconveniences and emptying the toilet is probably my least favorite part of van life. I have a full kitchen set up here in the van and let me show you that. The sink has running water. It's hooked up to a 10 gallon freshwater tank that sits under the bed. And then I just flip the switch on here and I have running water. I have an induction cooktop here 
that runs off of the house battery or when I'm plugged in. We set it up with this flip top so I would have extra counter space for when I'm cooking and this comes in super handy. I used to keep trays here, but now I don't need the trays. And the other thing that this flip top does is it protects the induction cooktop when I'm driving. I have quite a bit of storage under the bed. That's one of the things that I love about this full size bed is it has tons of storage under there. The storage that I can reach inside the van are for my clothes. I keep it organized with everything labeled and in packing cubes. When you're in such a small space, organization is really, really important. And then the drawers are on locking mechanisms so they don't come sliding forward when I'm driving. The van has several areas where it has extra outlets and USB ports, which come in really handy. It seems like everything these days needs a USB charge. And then the cabinet here, it's a little bit cluttered, but I have tons of storage under there for cleaning supplies and things like that. And then the big drawer here, I use it to keep a small ice chest because sometimes I want to have ice for my drinks. The fridge keeps everything cold, but I like having ice for my drinks and then just a little extra storage in there. Now I talked about this in a video before, but let me show you what I do with these pillows. So they're just pillow covers, so they're throw pillows. They come in handy for extra insulation for the windows when it's cold weather, but also check this out. So instead of putting a throw pillow in here, I keep all my jackets in there. So it's a little bit of extra space that I have. It doesn't take up drawer space and it makes great pillow stuffings. And then I just zip that back up and I've got my throw pillow here. Over here I keep a thousand watt Ocmo battery and that's just an extra battery backup source. One of the things that I found in the van is it's important to have backup systems and this extra battery is one of my backup systems. I do the same thing like I keep a gallon of water even though I have my 10 gallon water tank if something were to happen to that pump I'd still have water with me. So I think those backup systems are really really important when you're staying in the van. Over here I have my dirty clothes hamper. So uh, it matches the van and it says happy camper and I tend to roll the clothes or fold them up when I put them in there that way I can really hold a lot more clothes in here in between those opportunities that I have to do laundry now a lot of people ask me about the van and they're like I could never do all that white I could never keep it all clean and my standard response is bleach is my friend uh, I love keeping the van clean. I love keeping the linens clean. So I end up doing laundry about once a week and I just toss a little bit of bleach in the laundry and it keeps everything nice and clean. This is one of my favorite little gadgets in the van. It's an O Polar USB fan and I can charge it up and it runs quite a while off of a charge. And it's just nice to keep the air circulating in here. One of the bigger challenges of van life is regulating the temperature. It's not like a house where you can set the thermostat and it stays a steady temperature. So I've got the O Polar fan for that. And then the other thing that I have that I recently had installed was this Max Air fan. And the Max Air fan's been great. So it works like a ceiling fan and blows down, or it also works when you crack a window or open a door to really take all of the hot air out of here. Now, also, you can see right up here, I have a Houghton Bel Air 3500 air conditioner, and that's an air conditioning unit that's on the top of the van. It works when I'm plugged in or it works off the generator. And a couple of things about that air conditioning unit is that um, I had to have a soft start put on it, so I didn't need such a giant generator to start the AC. And it cools really, really quickly in the van. One of the things that I do so it's not blowing straight down on me is I lift this cabinet door and it kind of deflects the air from blowing on me when I'm asleep. So what do I do for heat in the van? I do a couple of different things. Occasionally, I just turn the van on and turn the heater on high and that heats it up in here pretty quickly. I have this little $15 heater that I got at the Walmart. I call it the Walmart. But what I love about it is it has a thermostat on it. So I can turn it down pretty low, maybe just put it on the first speed. I set it in the floor of the van and this keeps the van warm all night long. And when I'm not plugged in, this 
heater will run my house battery down pretty quickly. So I also have a Mr. Heater Little Buddy and I've only had to use that twice, but it does come in handy and I do keep it back in that garage area of the van for those cold nights when I'm off grid and my battery's running low. We have to take advantage of the opportunities in the van for storage. So this is one of the little nooks that I have. I keep my makeup and shower supplies in here and a towel. I keep my little heater up here and then like my glue gun and phone cords and stuff like that. And I have little nooks up here that I keep a few tools and duct tape and things like that in and uh, up there toilet paper and my little mini bar. And then there's a pretty good size nook up here. Let me show you that. So this is a photo that I took at the beach last year and my friend Eddie Tapp had it mounted on a piece of foam core and it was perfect to fill in this little hole. There used to be a television there, which I had the TV took out. I'm not a big TV person. And then inside of here, you can see I've got tons of storage. I use that for pots and pans and bowls and uh, some of the bigger, I've got my spices back I use there. this big bottom drawer here for food storage. I wanna show you what I do for the curtain situation. So the van came with these blinds and they're pretty good, but you can see that there's quite a big gap right there. So I felt like I wanted a little more privacy than that. So I made these curtains using blackout curtains. And of course I had to bedazzle them a bit. My tassel game is strong. And I attached them with Velcro right here. And then I had squares of Velcro right there, but I didn't like them. So I cut them into heart shapes because they're just prettier that way. And I just fasten the curtains down with the Velcro. And I've gotten out of the van and walked around. And at night there's no light leak. So I can be in the van and no one really even knows I'm in here. So let me show you what I've got going on back in the back of the van. I call this the garage. In this drawer, it's on slide outs and it's all of my things like tools, laundry detergent, antifreeze for the van, extra cleaning supplies, uh, extra little like propane tanks and my chair. So this drawer holds quite a bit. And this is for the things that I wanna have with me, but I don't need access to them all the time. And I don't need access to them from inside the van. And then back here, I have a 2000 watt Predator generator. And it just rides back here. Of course, when I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be sitting outside the van. But I love that I was able to downgrade to a smaller generator after I put the soft start on that air conditioner. And that way I got rid of the old uh, tail ra tailgate rack that I had back here. And then also up under here is my fuse panel for the electrical system in the van. And then I have my hiking shoes and backpack. And then I also have a foldable electric bike back here. One of the cool things about the van is it has doors on both sides. So it has doors on the driver's side too. So that gives me access to this area back here that a lot of uh, vans don't have. So back here, this is my shower setup. It works with a little shower nozzle that I hook into right here and just press the electric pump. I put this hose down in a bucket and then uh, strap my shower curtain across the doors here. So I've got an outdoor shower. And this is all my shower gear right here. I use a bamboo floor mat. I've tried different types of rugs and things like that, but this thing works out great. I can use it for a shower mat and then it, I can roll it up. Check this out. I can roll it up and tuck it inside the van. But this knob I use, if I'm hooked up to shore power, I turn it straight up and down. And if I'm driving, I have it on on. And that's what charges my house battery. So the house battery is a 200 amp hour lithium battery by SOK. And so it charges three ways. It charges when I'm plugged in, charges when I'm driving or by solar. And then this area right here is where the inverters at and all of the electrical gear. So I can get to that from this door. And then I've got extra storage in this compartment right here. So I've got my electrical cords there and my collapsible bucket. And then I also store that shower mat over here. These little bags come in handy. This is my rags for washing the van and dish rags and cleaning and stuff like that. I had this receptacle put on the outside of the van 
And it's one of my favorite things. I can just plug in now to someone's front porch or a campground, which is a huge upgrade from when I first got the van, which was a hole in the floorboard and an extension cord that I would run up through the hole in the floorboard. Yes, there are some things that are uh, a little bit of a challenge in the van, you know, emptying the toilet. I always talk about that being one of them. I feel like the payoffs are definitely bigger than the cost. Another question that I get pretty often is, aren't you afraid? Or what about your safety? And my answer to that is I feel just as safe in the van as I do in a home. I don't park in areas that I feel unsafe. And a lot of times, you know, like if I'm at a campground, campers are so friendly and I end up making friends. I come in here, I lock the door at night and I sleep just as peacefully and I feel just as safe as I do if I were in a home. And kind of an upside of the van is I can always climb up in the front seat and drive away. I don't know how long I plan on doing van life. This has been an incredible adventure. I've had the van for a couple of years now. And honestly, I don't ever see myself going back to driving just a normal car. Like even if I weren't doing van life, I would still want the van. I've gotten so spoiled to having everything with me you know change of clothes a change of shoes uh, last night I had on a little pair of boots that were pretty old and the whole boot just disintegrated like I'm walking around and suddenly half of my foot is out of the boot and I'm like no problem I got another pair of shoes in the van and I don't know if this is forever but it's definitely a fun chapter in my life so when the next chapter comes along, maybe I'll do something different. One of my favorite things about the van is lowering the shades in the back when I wake up in the morning because it's always something different. It's always a different view. It's the beach or the forest or teepees or uh, the Badlands National Park or the jungle or whatever. So I kind of get a kick when I lower those blinds and there's something really cool for me to see when I wake up in the mornings. I got interested in van life because I saw someone else who was doing it. And I just thought to myself I could do that. And especially with COVID and international travel being such a hassle and shut down. And so van life was a way for me to continue to travel and a way that I feel comfortable and I feel safe. So another thing I love about the van is like, you know, if you're staying in a hotel, you've got all your suitcases packed and your toiletries and all that, you're lugging things in the hotel, you're lugging them out of the hotel. You don't do that in the van. You don't have to lug anything in and out. And if you wake up at four o'clock in the morning and you want a cup of coffee, you've got all your setup right there. When I was in Florida, uh, my daughter joined me for part of the trip and she wanted to stay in a hotel. So we got the hotel room. We spent a couple hundred bucks for one night in a hotel. We parked the van in a paid parking lot. It was actually a church parking lot for $20 to park it there for the night. But honestly, I would have been just as happy sleeping in that parking lot for $20 in my van than paying the $200 for that hotel room. And I'm fascinated with how little you really need. Like I keep my house in Texas because it's next door to my day spa and I share the space with the spa. They use it for storage and back bar and office space and things like that. When I go there, I look in my closet and I just stand there wagging my head like, what is the point? of all this, like what's the point of all this stuff? And in so many ways, less is more. That's my van tour. That's a little bit of my story. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments. I read all my comments and answer them. And I appreciate y'all so much. You keep watching and I'll keep posting content.